All right, here we go. Honda CBR 600RR 2003. Um, right over here, let me get to the other side of the bike. If anybody needs or wants, whatever have you, there's the VIN number. Y'all can do your research on it if you want and find out exactly uh, all the information on it if you so choose to not to believe me. But anyway, um, this bike was salvaged. Uh, we bought it from Bob's probably about mm, good take two years ago. Um, the bike got laid down on the left side here. Um, the handlebars, the trees, um, the only thing that we did have to replace here is the end and the lever. Um, <clears throat> obviously the mirrors, the plastics, but uh, there, was n there was really no severe damage done. The only thing that was left of uh, scarring, if you will, is the transfer case there. Um, it doesn't leak, there's no cracks, so and to me it's more of a cosmetic thing if it was something that was wanting to be replaced. Um, but I mean, it holds its it holds its do, it does its job, and uh, it's the only thing that I asked for. And uh, yeah, UPS rolling by. So, um, the color on this is called tangerine orange. It's candy paint from House of Color. Um, there is custom airbrushing on it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it at all. Um, it is kind of put in there with a ghost effect, if you will. Um, Slip-on exhaust, um, vortex rear settings, um, rotors on the rear end are good, um, new sprocket, new chain, um, I mean literally new chain, like I went on ahead and, and drove it probably about three, four thousand miles um, just to you know, break it in. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the tires on these are Michelin Pilots, from what I understand, um, and from what I know, that uh, these are the best street tires that money can buy. Um, there's plenty of life on them. Um, I would probably say within the next seven, eight thousand miles uh, to get the, the at least the rear one changed. I mean, the front one. I mean, it's still pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of tread left on them. Um, lights. I have Chevy set up HIDs. They're 13K. Um, current mileage on the bike right now uh, is 22, 213. I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> But uh, as you can see, it's that this one's strobing, and I'm trying to get it to where it sets itself where it will constantly strobe, so that way, uh, you know, you get more attention when you're riding. And to me, it's important because, um, I mean, I don't drive this thing like a grandma, but uh, I definitely don't abuse the situation. But, uh, you know, every now and then, I'll get a wild hair on my butt and go do about 160 or so down the freeway. But uh, the HID setups are right in here. One's right there, and then one's on the other side here. Like I said, these are both Chevy setups. Uh, those alone were 700 bucks. Um, the paint, I'm not even going to talk about that. The paint itself was expensive. Um, but uh, the bike's been on the road now for about a year or so. Um, but uh, it does have a, a, a restored title now. Um, the only thing that's left to do is to fix this tank issue. Um, the cold weather that we've had recently um, would be my assumption as to why the tank went down the way it did. Uh, my key here is broken. But, uh, I mean, as you can see, that doesn't defect, you know, putting gas on the bike. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, it's a pretty damn full tank. But I mean, it still holds its purpose, still does its do. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I kind of give everybody an idea here.
of how well this bike does get abused is uh, I've had to reset my pegs here just because uh, turned the other way couldn't really hold my foot on it but I, I mean this bike does get down and I'm uh, definitely not afraid to uh, take a turn but um trying to get a little bit better at my left hand turns because uh, my left knob here doesn't look anything quite like what that one does but um yeah other than that um can't really think of anything else uh, but if anybody has any questions or comments or whatever uh, feel free to let me know um, I am putting this bike up for sale I took the registration off I'm currently not insured on it now so I will sit here and collect dust until I get somebody to come and pick it up so go ahead and do one one more walk around And the bike runs and sounds just as good as it looks, guys, so I'm sure this bike won't be sitting around for very long. Have a good day.